of course, find only the illusion of freedom. Back in Tulsa or Wichita or someplace, there's a time clock waiting for them. John McMahon, 38 years old, came here years ago, thought about that time clock back home, and decided to punch out forever. That left him free beside the sea, with only the bothersome little problem of how to support himself. The solution to that came to him out of the thin air. He became, as far as we know, America's only happy-go-lucky, full-time, freelance, boomerang salesman. These here, this one here was made by Dr. Lauren. It's one of his little super-looper models. It's a plastic model. Back when he was a carpenter's apprentice in Sodas Point, New York, back when he worked as an airplane mechanic and a tugboat hand, John McMahon was a nobody. Now he's known all the way from Port Isabel clear up the beach to the Mansfield jetty. Everybody calls him Billy Boomerang. These little bottles, they run $4. Business very consists good, of good. bragging to the tourists about his records. I did my first record that summer, 129 catches. That was in 1972. 129 in a row. At, at that time. And then two years later, I went 155, and then I went 172, and then I did 388. 388 times you threw that thing and caught it every time? Without a miss. How'd you feel on the 389th? Well, I slipped it out of my hand wrong. It came in slow on me. When they do that, that's where you're going to miss it because it's hard to catch a slow-moving boomerang. I really right? haven't come in oh. fast. I didn't think about doing it at the time, but I figured if I went to 100 straight catches, I had a, a chance. And it was just one of those days when the wind was perfect, and I was in the right mood, I had the right boomerang, and that's all it took. I've never tried for that record since, because that's going to be a tough record to try to beat. Billy Boomerang knocks the tourists out. Well, look at that! There you go. Hey, do people buy boomerangs? Oh, lots of them. And everybody learns how to do it. Okay. Stand right out here where I can watch you. Is okay, that how I hold my hand? Yep. Okay. Send the wrist. Keep loose. Like that. Snap. Snap. As boomerangs fill the air above Padre Island, yeah, Billy Boomerang has become a man with nothing to worry about, except all his students who haven't learned their lessons. The main thing when you throw is to hold it properly. This is 90%. The improper way people do it, they throw it backside. It's flat side. If you throw them this way, they won't come back. Throw them like a Frisbee, they won't come back. And you never throw a boomerang into the wind. And the main thing when you throw is don't think about it. Take your mind off of it. Much tough to me. Now, it's the most misunderstood sport in the world, but yet it's the easiest one to learn. It's easier than a Frisbee. Actually, Ben Rue calls it the thinking man's Frisbee. It's the thinking man's Frisbee. <laughs> Billy Boomerang makes his wares of oak, birch, and mahogany like delicate wood carvings and sells them like hotcakes. <laughs> you have to be careful what you buy sometimes. They may look good to you, but just because they got painted design doesn't mean they're going to work. It's something new every day. It's a different experience. It's not the same old day after day grind behind the drill press or behind the hammer and so forth like I used to do construction. It beats it all to pieces. I like what I'm doing. It's, it's a good, healthy living. You can go out here and surf, do a lot of skin diving in the summertime, ride the kayak out there and surf on the waves. What I like is being my own boss and independent. You, you don't have to live by the clock. You'll never get rich. I believe I am richer than a lot of people because I'm happy. But still, no, if I had my choice to go back working for the other man again, I'd never do it. Not as long as I live, because my business gets better every year. We envied John McMahon, his free life by the sea, but we left him and headed north. You know how life is. You have to make a living.